Gary from Piaget Mines, your Spring Fence Main. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply. I'm down with All Good Garden Supply right now, hanging out. And I wanted to show you guys the aquaponics system that's going here. Um, our manager, Mr. Patches, got this thing up and running a couple years ago. We rescued some goldfish down here from the pond down the road. They were draining it. Um, down here is a fish. Basically, in aquaponics, we have a lot of people coming in. They think this is so cool. The fish are pretty much feeding the plants. They're pooping. It's got a pump down here that pumps up to the top and comes out down there. We got a little pond down there too. Um, then that water, this is kind of technically a nutrient film technique. It's running through one end of the table down to the other. And then before it goes back down the bottom, we've been working on different kinds of filters here to keep, uh, to keep we actually have worms in the bottom here and the worm poop messes up the water. So these are some cocoa cups. We did have like a net basket over here at one point, but that ended up getting clogged up. Um, aquaponics is really cool. It's a cool concept, but a lot of people come in, they, they think that they're gonna put up a greenhouse and do this in their backyard. And in the middle of the summer, this tank's gonna be 100 degrees and the, the fish are not gonna be happy. The fish in the ponds, they can go down deep and stay cool. But, you know, this is just a, a good organic way to go. Um, Right now we're up to 1,630 parts per million in here, so that's pretty wild. Um, goldfish, they like their pH around 6, 7, 6, 8, so we have to ride that up a little bit higher than normal. Um, we're using red wigglers down in here, and we've only added them one time, and they have totally engulfed this entire bed. And I've had people wanting to do like flood and drain in, in an aquaponic system, that is it is actually possible. You got to have two separate reservoirs to do it that way. And I can explain that if you come to the store and so can our all good store, our Pennsylvania store. Um, down here where it finally comes out the bottom, we have the, an extra net basket, just a little bag, a filter bag, just to make sure anything, try to keep everything we can out of this tank. And doing a drip system in here, drip system would be a bad idea. People have talked about that. Um, there's so much sediment in your fish water. It's just gonna be never ending problems with that. Um, aeroponics, definitely not. I've had people talk about that. And you know, aeroponics is the most likely system to get clogged up no matter what. And having fish poop in your lines, it's gonna get clogged up. So other than that, if you guys ever wanna come see this, it's at Olga Garden Fly in Finksburg, Maryland. It's pretty cool. We let the kids feed the fish and stuff sometimes, so. And again, I'm Gary from P.I. Fox here Springs, Pennsylvania, and we have Sword Maryland, all good garden supply. Make sure you click down here and follow us, and have a good one.